Hello everybody, welcome to my little POV tutorial. I'm Nergish, aka Neg, aka Ner. Whatever you want to call me is up to you. I am the main tournament organizer for the European scene in the Phantasmagoria Netplay server, and I decided it was a good time to make a little beginner's tutorial for uh, fundamentals and, you know, the general game, how it works, since we have a beginner's tournament coming up. Either way, when it comes to tournament rules in our tournaments, we do lunatic only. So when you play against each other, always choose lunatic. This is to speed up sets and make sure that the tournament is not too long. One other thing that we do in the tournaments is always play a Misty Lake because it has a flat blue background, so bullet visibility is not an issue. And it has a lack of detail, which means that the possibility of lag is very, very low. Here up at the top, we got the health bar. It might look like you take five hits before you die, but you usually take around three or four because the amount of damage you take is based on time. You will take more damage if you've survived to like 40 or 50 seconds compared to if you took damage in the early game, like right now. I can take a hit here. I took one bar. If I decide to stall a little bit here, you'll see that I'll take more damage once we reach like 40 or the, the 40 or 50 mark. So let's see here. We're reaching, yeah, we're reaching 50 now. So I'll just run into an enemy. Took a lot of damage there. At this point, I can only take two more hits before I die, usually. If I would have continued taking hits after I only took one orb of damage, uh, I would have taken four hits total. Next, we got the gauge here at the bottom. This shows you how much spell power you have, or whatever we call it. I just call it the gauge. How much gauge you have, or whatever. The gauge goes up every time you kill an enemy, or cancel a pellet with an enemy explosion. As you can see, when an enemy explodes in this blue orb, uh, the pellets around it disappears. Uh, every time they do, this goes towards your gauge, and uh, it will go up. When it has reached the half point, or whatever, you can set the different levels of attacks by charging. So let's send a level 3 here as an example. This costs 2 bars of gauge. And we'll send over a decently strong attack. And I clear a certain amount of area around you. If I send a level 2, uh, I'll clear a smaller area around me. And send a, a different attack that has cancelable bullets in it. And you can also get gauge by taking damage. And every time you go down to last hit you always get full gauge. So, let's send a level 4 here. Uh, what this does is clear the entire screen and send over a boss to the opponent's screen. All the attacks and bosses are unique to the character you're playing. Also, when it comes to offense, uh, you will probably see that there's a bunch of lasers popping up on Cyrano's screen and uh, a bunch of icicles popping up on mine. These are the passive attacks. They appear on the opponent's screen every time you just kill an enemy or uh, a spirit, and it's unique to every character. Another thing that's really important for PvP specifically is, uh, you see the spell point up here by Marisa? This is what you use to control the bosses, because when you reach spell point 100,000, 300,000, and 500,000, you will send over a boss to the opponent's screen. And together with the 500,000 mark, you also send a level 3 together with your boss. Okay, I reached 100,000 there, and I sent over the boss to the opponent's screen. Very soon, Cyrano's gonna reach 100,000 herself, which means that the boss I sent over to her screen completely disappears. And so she sends over one to mine. This is called the boss reverse reversal, and um, kinda shows how important boss control is, because you don't want the boss on your screen. Okay, so now I've put myself in a situation that's not optimal, and that's where I've exceeded 500,000 in spell points. After 500,000, you can't get any more bosses to send. So, in PvP, what you want to do is either stop shooting for a little while to let the, the bar run out, like I did here, or you can take an intentional hit. That's usually not recommended, but the spell points do reset when you get hit. But mostly it's best to just stop shooting for a little while, let the little white bar below the spell points run out. Like you see, I shoot some enemies, they go up every time they die, and then it goes down to zero. Some other stuff that's good to know is uh, when you focus, you get a little scope, right? The little scope. Uh, this varies depending on which character you use. This is used for scoping spirits. Uh, when you hit a spirit with this, it stops in the air, and when you kill it, it explodes in a big blue explosion. If you kill it normally, 
you get a little small explosion. Uh, this blue explosion you want because you want to, you know, cancel the white pellets. You don't want them on your screen. Because if you hit them, you get damaged. If you cancel them, you get gauge and spell score, which, you know, is what you want. If you look down in the corners here, uh, you get two numbers. The one on the left is your charge level, pretty much. This goes up every time you send a, a charge attack, either a level 2 or a level 3. And the higher this number is, the more difficult that attack is gonna be. Here on the right, you see the boss rank or level or whatever you want to call it, right? This goes up every time you send over a boss. The higher this number is, the longer the boss timer. And you can increase both of these by just using these options that they correlate to. For example, I'll rack up some gauge here to send a level 2. Okay, I sent a level 2. The number went up to 9 from 8. And my next level 2 will now be more difficult to deal with. Something that's unique with uh, the boss difficulty counter is that it's shared. This goes up every time both people send over a boss. So, boss is always the same difficulty for both players. Either way, that concludes this beginner's tutorial. Thanks for watching, and um, good luck in the tournament. If you're watching this and you don't know about the Phantasmagoria Netplay community, uh, you can join the Discord in the description. Either way, I'm off. <laughs> See ya.